um there was this really dumb controversy that happened recently the other day regarding flipping skepta where he was accused of being somewhat i guess anti-semitic because he used this picture on his up and coming for his up and coming single that's about to be or for a single that i think that dropped the other day actually if i'm not mistaken and to obviously start the rollout for his album that's meant to be coming out very very soon and people saw this the single album the single cover and they immediately thought that he was basically taking the piss um out of you know the nazi concentration camps and the jews that were unfortunately um killed at that place and the fact that some of them were marked or most of them that obviously come to the concentration camps were marked in a certain way and i think the picture itself originally featured a guy with a bald head that had a um, number of no, no the words of his next single kind of tattooed on the back of his head and people online were making it seem like that was you know uh, an example of it's kind of representative or similar to what happened to the jewish people when they were kind of you know put in concentration camps and shit right so he had to come out here and apologize for it which is absolutely stupid so this cut to the shaber it's a skeptic issues a statement after fans allege that his album cover art resembles a holocaust so as you can see here his album cover for his um no for a single cover not for the album cover but a single if i'm not mistaken it's called gas me up and it looks it looks like a, a white kid with a shaved head and it's got gas me up written at the back of his head here in that font so he had to apologize and take that picture down because people are upset about it um and it says here um, he shared a mood board of what he was looking at when he was thinking of the flipping you know of the flipping artwork itself and he wrote here a tweet I can honestly I can honestly see how my single artwork without context can be deemed as offensive especially in a time like this but again that was not my intention you're big up Richie appreciate you have you worn new Balenciaga flats for a rest <laughs> drive yet to the club or DJ Ed in the more god in a fight yet <laughs> <laughs> one of those things has happened one of those things has happened not the fight one of those things has happened richie one of those things has happened not the fight but one of those things has happened one of those things has happened not the fight but they will be revealed very very soon keep an eye out for them they're going to be revealed but one of those things has happened not the fight <laughs> i wasn't slipping all over the place and again no 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 not slipping not slipping not slipping um <laughs> <laughs> let's continue it says yeah i can honestly see how my single art big up richard i appreciate you for the donation brother thank you for that is i can honestly see how my single artwork about context can be deemed offensive especially in this time but after some thought i don't feel like this could i could continue being an artist um or for you all if no cool let me actually see the sorry let me actually go to the apology first my bad I'm, I'm doing this the wrong way around so he actually did apologize for it at first which if i can find the actual tweet itself he actually did apologize for it and then he kind of took it back so i think he did apologize and he took it back which was good because the apology was fucking stupid it really was dumb he should never have apologized but he did actually apologize for it and then he reversed his decision so this is this is actually the apology itself as you can see here on his tweet i think he might post on his instagram too he first apologized and says i've been waiting to drop gas me up diligent since teasing it in april last year worked hard getting the artwork right for my album rollout which is about my parents coming to the uk in the 80s skinhead football culture and it has been taken offensively by many and i can promise you that i definitely not our plan so i've removed it and i vow to be more mindful going forward so he said what he said there and then obviously he slept on it and realized hold on why am I fucking apologizing to the mob? Why am I bending and kowtowing to people when this is my expression? This is my art. And if anything, when it comes to art, all, you know, all fucking apologies are off the table. There is no nothing to apologize for apart from maybe not doing the best job that you can do and not maybe giving your fans what they want. But apart from that, you shouldn't be apologizing for your fucking inspiration. You shouldn't be apologizing for the things that you're, you're barely inf you know, inspired by or things that inform your artwork. You should always be trying to be, you know, basically show your best self through your art and what your fucking inspiration is about this whole thing so he said what he said there and then he decided to take it back which i'm happy he did and he said the following i can honestly see how my single artwork without context can be deemed defensive not my intention but after some thought i don't feel i could continue being an artist and you uh, you all know and love if my art is policed i agree with that one i have to quit if i can't express my art as i see it so help the con so to help the context here are the pictures from the mood board for the 1980s uk story for my album knife and fork gas me up diligently will be out on the 26th as planned so he took it back he's like look you're not going to try and 
make me feel bad for basically tapping into British culture, tapping into a rich history of British culture around skinheads, around fucking scar culture, around fucking, you know, um, you know, le legendary icon, legendary bands, legendary movements, legendary subcultures that all informed my idea around this flipping album. Especially, like you said, if the album is based around the 1980s and his family moving to the UK around that sort of time, you know, that's basically what the music was on fucking the radio, right? The specials and all this sort of malarkey playing there on a fucking constant basis. So it makes sense why he used that as inspiration. So I love the fact that he went back on the apology and basically told people to kind of suck on his fucking little minka because why? the fuck are you policing my art and i think in general the annoying thing about it is that more than likely the people he apologized to would have never bought his album anyway that's the annoying thing when it comes to his apologies it's not like you're apologizing to your actual fans who are offended who get let down you're usually apologizing to people that were never your fans people that are just looking that just have like an apology kink they kind of get turned on by people you know bending the knee kissing them at their feet and asking for forgiveness but your actual fans don't give a fuck your actual fans get you your actual fans understand your actual fans appreciate that you're because even like myself i'm a big fan of skepta but i can't lie to say you know maybe some of the skepta albums from before maybe his delivery maybe his you know subject matter has been a bit formulaic and been a bit boring the fact that i've heard that the inspiration behind this album is what it is about his parents moving to the uk at a certain time about that time in history in the uk and about represent you know maybe being a representative of you know what it's like to be a you know a nigerian british person or whatever it may be that's really interesting to me i'm actually more interested to check out the album now that i've kind of learned about the inspiration behind it but the ones who don't care about you are the ones that are going to try to get you to kowtow and bend the knee because it's going to make them feel a lot more better about their fucking situation but i've just always hated anyway that artists nowadays especially in this kind of era that we're in are forced to explain their art and I've also hated the fact that artists nowadays are forced to fucking apologize for things when people get offended at the art that they do and put out there. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm glad to see Skepta decided to take it back and say, you know, suck on my dick. Let me do my art the way I want to do it. And if you don't, I'll just quit and do something else because this isn't worth it. And I really do agree with him. I really, really do agree with him.